What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcoming Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So Japan just got a data download recently and I wanted to quickly go over all the details for you guys, especially because one part of it has to do with the four year anniversary, which I know a lot of people are very, very excited for as you rightfully should be. So first things first, I want to give a big shout out to Zahal on the Dokkan subreddit for providing all the information and doing the translations for us. It's very, very much appreciated. And uh, from the top, we have two new cards. One is a brand new uh, kid, Pan, who is going to be the world tournament reward for the upcoming world tournament on JP. And we'll go over her details in just a second. If you guys are interested in what she looks like, there's the card itself. Uh, it's pretty cute. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how many people are really excited for Pan, but she is going to be the World Tournament Reward, and uh, she's actually pretty solid. I mean, with a huge drawback, but overall a decent card that's for free. And we also have the uh, Int Goku Rebirth, and I'll show you guys that in a second as well. And as far as new missions go, it looks like all the EZA events all the EZ events and their missions are returning tomorrow night or uh, actually tonight if you're watching this the day that it's released and this includes Piccolo as well so I mean <laughs> that's, that's pretty crazy it looks like every single Extreme Z battle event um, that was ever in the game is going to be returning to the JP side which is absolutely wild I mean in the past they've only brought back at most like two or three of them at a time right so the fact that they're all coming out once is pretty awesome if you guys are missing some of the medals to awaken some of those uh, units, like the Piccolo or the Gohan or Super Saiyan 3 Goku or whatever. Now's your chance to get all of it done all at once, I guess. Um, so that's awesome. That's really awesome. And also, there are the World Tournament missions too, because there's another World Tournament coming very soon. Uh, new items. So this is the thing that I think a lot of people are going to be very excited about, the four-year anniversary summon tickets. And of course, that just means you're going to get tickets to do summons on some kind of ticket banner. Um, I'm guessing it's probably going to be similar to the three year anniversary banner that both Global and JP got. So it's going to be like a bunch of like decent featured units, but also there's going to be LRs hidden as unfeatured units in that banner. So most people are going to be trying to pull for those LRs with the tickets. And you know what? A decent amount of people did get LRs in that three year anniversary banner. And uh, back then, there were a lot less LRs in the game. So I'm guessing that even more people are going to be pulling LRs with these tickets on this four year anniversary banner. So uh, best of luck, everybody that's playing JP. And um, hopefully, everybody pulls some fire. Okay. Moving on, we have some world, world, inter bleh, world tournament information. So. Number one, it starts on Friday, um, January 25th at 12 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and ends on the 27th at 4.59 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Prizes pan, Int Goku is a prize for various missions, so the uh, everybody's going to be able to get that Int Goku that's going to be awakening soon. And also the rest of the same, Goku is added in, doesn't replace anything. So everything else about the World Tournament is going to be pretty standard. Okay, um, let me just quickly pop over here. So... This is the Ink Goku that's getting an awakening. Um, so it, it, I think it's pretty cool that the, the fact that they're actually awakening a lot of SRs now. Like on Global recently, the um, the Botamo and the Botamageta got awakenings into um, Botamageta, right? So I, I think it's cool. I think the fact that SR is actually going to be usable, a lot of them are starting to become usable at least, is uh, it's a good thing, especially for newer players who aren't able to pull a lot of the like, new Dokkan Fest units and stuff like that. Um, now, it's kind of weird the fact that this Goku's Awakening doesn't have an art for some reason. I guess maybe they didn't, they didn't find it yet or something. But we do have the information for what the card actually does, so I guess not too bad. Um, and then moving on, we have this four-year anniversary ticket. <laughs> Pretty standard-looking ticket. Just wanted to show you guys for anybody that's interested in taking a look at what it looks like. Let's go back to the, the uh, Reddit post now from Zahal and take a look at what these cards actually do. So the pan inherited superpower her leader skill is going to be super agl type skill plus two hp attack and defense plus 70 percent so decent leader skill right there super attack is maiden smash as a supreme damage to enemy and seals super attack so she is a guaranteed sealer which is very good for older events for some of the newer events unfortunately it's not going to be as useful because a lot of these new dokkan fest um dokkan event bosses actually can't be sealed so sealing and also stunning in general are becoming a little bit less useful um, <laughs> her, her super attack quote is Ta. Okay, I mean, I guess it's better than the three dots of the evil, evil boo. And also, um, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta has definitely, like, up there for one of the worst super attack lines. The, the U-Darn, like, 
Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. That's just lazy. Okay, passive. Greatest determination. Own attack plus 80% and medium chance to evade the enemy's attacks and performs a guaranteed critical hit as the first attacker in a turn. So all that stuff is awesome. She guarantees crits as the first attacker. She has a medium chance to stun and attack plus 80%. All really good. But like I said, she does have a major drawback. So when she gets hit, <laughs> if she gets, if she receives an attack, so she manages to not dodge with that medium chance, her own attack is actually reduced by 80%. So I believe that would just cancel out the own attack plus 80% here, which means that she actually gets no attack boost after getting hit for one turn. So um, major drawback right there. She still has that guaranteed critical. She still has the medium chance to evade. It's just if she does get hit, she's gonna be, she's gonna hit like a wet blanket, right? <laughs> which is kind of, Kind of bad, um, but I mean, keep in mind she is a world tournament reward, and I do like the fact that they are making world tournament rewards more usable now, which is always a good thing, right? These free cards are becoming more and more usable, and on JP, I believe, um, keep in mind I am a global main, so I don't know, don't know like everything about JP, but I believe that the world tournament reward cards are now always guaranteed for missions, so that's fantastic, right? Everybody's gonna be able to get her if they put in the time to grind it out a little bit. Links are all in the family, Infighter, Sane Lineage, Battlefield Diva, Supreme Power, and World Tournament Reborn. So pretty standard links, what you would expect from a pan. Categories are Hybrid Saiyans and World Tournament. Again, no Peppy Gals, unfortunately. Um, I kind of understand it, but at the same time, it'd be cool to give her an extra category to make her even more useful. Uh, Goku, Realization of the Wish. So this is the awakening or the rebirth of the Int Goku. Leader skills can be tech types, int, and SDR types. Key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 30%. Um, pretty trash. Super attack, <laughs> Kamehameha, causes supreme damage to the enemy. And uh, his quote is currently unavailable. Will update when the bug is fixed. I don't know what bug he's referring to, but I guess maybe that's why they don't have an image as well for him. His passive is long awaited uh, world tournament appearance. Tech, int, and SDR types. Key plus 1, and attack plus an attack and defense plus 20%. Very solid, actually. If it was key plus two, it would have been even better, but attack and defense plus 20% plus the one key is not bad if you guys are missing some, um, you know, support units for various teams. It can actually be a good filler for that. And if there's a world tournament category enemy present, own key plus three, attack and defense plus 77%. So the thing is, um, key plus three and attack and defense plus 77% is awesome, except for the fact that I don't know if you're going to be fighting that many world tournament enemies. So I don't know how often that passive, is, the second part of his passive at least, is going to be activating. Links are Z Fighters, All in the Family, uh, In Fighter, Kamehameha, World Tournament Reborn, and Experienced Fighters. So, I mean, <laughs> not the best links, but they're, they're whatever. Um, and Pure Saiyans, uh, and, oh, World Categories are Pure Saiyans and World Tournament. So there you go, guys. Uh, that's all the information we have for this data download. Just wanted to update you guys regarding the ticket as well as some of these rebirths and the fact that World Tournament is coming for JP and also for Global as well. So the thing is, um this is one of the first times i don't know if like how often this happens in the past this might be the first time or maybe like one of the only times uh, i know it's rare the fact that world tournament is happening on both global and jp at the same time so uh, if you guys are you know playing both versions you're trying to like you know go between both you're gonna have a pretty damn busy weekend that's pretty much all you're gonna be able to do because i i know like how how big of a grind, how like long of a grind world tournament is, right? And the fact that, you know, some people have to do both of them at the same time now, as opposed to them being staggered like normal. It's gonna be tough for some people, so uh, have fun, good luck, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just glad that I'm probably only gonna be doing world tournament on global, so I won't have to deal with that. But yeah, for people that do do both, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough, it's gonna be tough. And just last little bit, bit of information that I think I missed here is that there is a new four-year anniversary ticket in the game files. Oh no, I already talked about that. I like to perform single summon on the four-year anniversary gacha and it will be good until March 8th. Interesting. So the uh, three-year anniversary banner allowed you to do, I'm pretty sure allowed you to do ticket multis, right? So the fact that he's making a um, specific distinction about the fact that we're doing singles, you can only do singles. Well, I don't know if he means you can only do singles. He said you can do singles, which kind of means that, to me, it kind of means that you can only do singles. I don't really know, but maybe um, they're gonna be guaranteed SSR tickets. Possibly, that, that would explain to me why you can't do multis. But um, I don't really have any more information aside from that, so I'm not really sure. <laughs> Originally, when I first read it, I, I assumed it's gonna be the same as the 
uh, three year anniversary banner, but I'm pretty sure, like I said, that one allowed you to, to allowed you to do multis, but it wasn't guaranteed SSR either, so it would make sense. Whereas if you can only do singles, then it would make more sense for them to be guaranteed SSR tickets. But you know what? More information to come as we learn more about what's happening for the four year anniversary. As far as we know, right now we're getting tickets. We're getting World Tournament soon, and uh, two new well, one new card for the World Tournament in the pan, and a rebirth for the Goku. That's all I gotta say for this video, guys. Hope you guys found the information interesting, and I'll make sure to keep you guys updated as soon as more information comes out. For the time being, that's all I gotta say. As always, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell as well so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's it. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.